Right, what's up guys? Because always welcome back to another OU game versus Sad, which is actually a long time follower and really friend. Uh, happy to actually have him around. Now, we are having an OU game which I already know I've showcased my team, which puts me in a bit of a pickle. Uh, it does allow me to be rather ferocious, but there are absolutely a lot of mods here that beats my ass. And that's just how it is. <laughs> But with that said, um, I'm actually going to lead off with Mythos. I think Mythos is a good overall lead. Uh, I also know that I lose directly to Exploud. Naturally. Uh, but there are matchups here I think I deal with well. And uh, there also are matchups here that pressures me naturally. Um, I should a lot of them now I think about it. But it doesn't matter. This is, a, this is of course a game that I feel... I want to be a player who knows what he does, and uh, I clearly using a team there that is not on par with what he brings, and that will only hopefully make the game more interesting. But I am naturally pressured. Starts off with Slowbro. It's not half bad, actually, depending on the set that is. But basically, his only like way of attacking me should be like Ice Beam. I should be able to roost that off. He can't stall this set. And I can always roost off the damage, depending if it's Assault Vest or not. Let's find out. We are doing chunks. Yeah, that's a nope. Nope, 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 nope. I actually did ferociously high damage. And look, the burn didn't do anything to me. So, if I owe him... Well, first and foremost, I clearly shit my pants here. Um, I expect Heatran, so I'm gonna roost this off. Yes, I stay healthy. Because he shouldn't risk the teleport. He can be flinched. And I think Heatran is such an easy switch in. Let's see, Garchomp. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'm not necessarily a lot worried. Uh, <laughs> so we're good here. Um, <laughs> damn it. So, Stone Edge seems to be a good play. I'm just going to do this very easy for me. I'm going to actually bring in... Landris get to intimidate and actually get out. Uh, I think no matter what he decides to do, it's gonna be rather annoying for me of stopping. Stone Edge. Nice! That's what I'm talking about. So, actually, what is this switch into this? If I were him, I clearly bring Slowbro, right? So his soul is like an absolute threat here. I have to consider him being Scarfed, however. Last time we battled, he was Scarfed, and it just, that has to be sap those. Oh, yes. So it all depends. If sap those is Scarfed, this is gonna be annoying. I don't believe he has the means to kill me. Even a close combat clearly stinks. Um. Usually these guys run bandit. Oh, that was actually kind of loud, wasn't it? Um, me, 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 me. Bail up. For the Heatron. Alright, so he wasn't scuffed. That's for sure. That's great. I'll take that. U turn. He was willing to risk that blister. That's kind of. That's kind of scary. <laughs> So, I expect Heatran here, in full force. Yeah, there I go. I know you. It's a leftover Heatran, which is good. So his moves should... He, he shouldn't go for Flash Cannon. Right. Fire Blast is kind of safe. I just want to do this so badly, don't I? He's gonna set up rocks. He's gonna absolutely set up rocks. He's seen my team. Rocks make sense. Don't fire blast. Don't flash cannon. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking a big risk here. Magma storm and connects. Absolute mad lad. 
bad at the same time. Um, this is going to take a lot of damage to me. He should switch out here. Urpar should do very well for me, but I think his like best play is bringing in either Zapdos or Landers. So I'm going to take the Weather Ball. I'm going to take that risk. The Weather Tango. Just withdraw. Nice. Twos. Oh, we get the damage. We get the damage. Probably not going to kill, but definitely going to sting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your move, Sherlock. <laughs> so, we know we can't roost, at least. Um... You should Brave Bird. He's not gonna close combat. I'm telling myself this because I need some leverage here or I am stuck. I mean, this is a safer switch in overall, so I'm actually gonna send him Mythos. Um, I need Intimidate. Well, it is a sack play, I still need it. Plus, I can't outspeed this guy. So, Brave Bird is the one that makes more. Really? He really did decide to U-turn. Huh. Don't get me wrong here, I just... I didn't think he would. <laughs> so now, let's see, Godchomp is back. Oh, he sure is. There is no way he's quaking. Either Stone Edge or... Because Befeller is such a good switch, and I just, I, it doesn't make sense. I'm not sending an action here, I, I hope for the best here. I know it's good versus this, but it's not completely insane. Yeah, nice. Took that really well. Oh, Bailey's off. That's how many more turns of. <laughs> Alright. Triple Axel was all sense. I should be faster than him, he should be fearing that situation alone. Sack something maybe? Heatron. That's kinda scary. One. Two. Three triple axles. Nice. A lot of damage there. Now we have one more turn of hail. Gonna make that one count. I'm quaking here. Oh, he stays in! You're a big baby! Nice! <laughs> Sand slash! Knew you had it in you. Sometimes things just works. That was a rough call, however. All right, I need to recalibrate though. The remaining mons are still tough. Let's see. Can I beat this mons? We got Garchomp, we got Cortana. We got a lot of really, really stingy guys here. He can just U-turn again. Um, Still, Mephos is like my... I was gonna say a bolt plank, that's not right, but he's gonna be my soaker for this event. Inevitable, possible close combat. There you go, nice. Gonna soak that very badly. <laughs> <laughs> Truer words has never been said. And I'm gonna roost in hopes that he's banded. I think that was very banded. I hope that was very banded. He would draw, so I, I have to consider that being banded. Back to guard jump. I feel this back and forth is kind of nasty for both of us. Um, like I said, I need to kind of consider guard jump being scarfed for this matchup. And I really don't like switching in and out versus it. 
but the only like response I have is Bethelgo, which in theory can't hurt it, but it definitely can push it back, which is something, or it's definitely what I want. And I hope it quakes. Yeah, that's right. Now do your offering. I'm absolutely bringing his soul there. He can just keep quaking, I know that. But as of right now, I have I don't need to care. <laughs> Yet again, another useless object. Let's see, do we have a Cortana here? We have a bro. We have an absolute bro. Um, I want to veil up so badly. Save myself a few turns. Freeze Ray is going to kill Saftos no matter what, I'm going to switch in. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. This is a surprisingly intense battle. I thought it was going to be rather one-sided, but as of right now, I'm kind of doing all right. Choose a side. That's fair. I'll lose nothing by free shrine here. It's not going to kill, by the way, but it's definitely going to hurt. Yeah, it did well. Scold. And consider situation that's not gonna hurt a whole lot let's see he doesn't have a free strike switching either so or blistered for that matter we blistered here I think there's gonna be plenty he clearly gonna sack Saptos <laughs> I would at this scenario explode oh okay how much can we do maximize damage here is we are having him on the threads. He gets the future sign, which will do plenty because crits happens in this game. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, what the hell was that about? I guess I'm forcing my hand. Um, okay. Let's see. Four turns of hail. And a blizzard here. I think that's gonna be plenty to kill you. Oh, that did not need to happen. Future science crits. That's new. Or that it's not new. I just need they didn't necessarily needed that to happen. Um, Saptos. He's gonna try to stall this through. I think it's fair. As of right now, I I just don't know how to beat it. We have Cortana left, and we have Slowbro left. Veil is gone, and we have Guard Jump. Two more turns of hail. Two months will fall. Here comes the bro. Best players to freeze try in case it tries to check it with his guard chump. I hope he makes that call. Stays in. Good. This is definitely killing no matter what. One more turn. One more turn of hail, right? The hail is not gone. I have one more turn. Tell me I have one more turn. Cortana. Alright. Gonna blizzard you away. Hope to do as much damage as possible. I don't care about the aftermath. At this point, it is all about not outspeeding inhale. God fucking damn it! <laughs> So he is scarfed. Huh. Uh, 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 uh. Scarfed and locked into Sacred Sword. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. We're still in this though. Not to worry yet. Earth power. I know I could have gone to Mythos, but at this point, I get good damage on no matter what comes in. It does decide to stay in. Oh, it does roughly half, doesn't it? Earth power will do. Absolutely kill him. And finally, crit back, baby. That's right. That's right. Now do your worst. Do your worst, sad. I actually think what his worst is just quake away. I still actually have one good response, and that is sacking me foes to get Landers. We don't know if this guy is scarfed, but I have to consider that being an option. Stone Edge finally gets the connection. That he definitely deserved, by the way. And we are absolutely sending in the Felgol. Just minus one might be plenty. Just maybe we're still good. Would be nice if I can heal up. Stone Edge misses. Nice. Earth Power will do. Alright. I am definitely losing in here. I am on the wrong side of history for sure. Um. I mean, eventually he should be able to connect. <laughs> ah, I should just keep going. At this point, I don't necessarily... Oh my god, I'm sorry, man. I really am. I think... I think it kills him here. Yeah. GG sad. GG, I mean that. Damn, that was rough. Those stone edges for him was not in his favor. Definitely not. And who knew? Scarf Cortana is faster than um, a boosted... Damn, that was rough. I think he had he knew that, and I clearly didn't. We would have a, a bit of a different game here. But Hale broke him apart, but Future Sign definitely got the better of me, and consider what position I were in, I definitely should not have been able to be pushed back as hard as I did with that Future Sign crit. That was tough. But with that said, guys, I really mean when I say it. Thank you so much for watching, and to Sad, very well played. Nicely done, buddy. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, as always guys, take care.